everyone. The Live Nation. What is good? Ian Vito and Liz coming back <coughs> at you with some more Doc Rich. Yep. Oh, man. Because uh, the Doc just feeding us that information. Oh. Laying it out there for us so even Ian can understand. So there was the interview between Kamala and Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Sorry, my voice is shitty. I've been battling allergies for like the last four, like the last four days. So. Real quick. I sound something. like I got my James Earl Jones voice going. Did right you now. guys test it out and make sure? That yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we okay, good. Okay. We good. Yeah. This is what happens when you come in late. You miss all pre-production stuff. And you you didn't do it. <laughs> wow. 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 At least I didn't put you on the spot. Wow. So. No, no. No, no, we got to put Liz in the spot because right. why she got to come in here and put you on the spot thinking you didn't do your pre-production? No, 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 no. It's making sure because imagine if we do this and this was like an hour thing. Trust me, me and Vito have learned. We, we've had those. We, we, we have learned. Put me on the spot. Making, that was not very no, nice. No, I wasn't. Ma- that was not I was very not nice. I wasn't doing that. Hey, hey. You know what? The, the, hey, I respect ladies <laughs> are... Always good at making sure men are on top of their shit. Having to do the mom. Thing. That's that's the that's the that's the beauty of having good women around you. They make sure men are on top of the shit. See, this is why we love her. Man. This is why that's is why we start. Liz does more than y'all think she does. Oh yeah, she does. So, but anywho, typical mom. Number on. one, she puts up with my dumb ass. So. Mm-hmm. so. <laughs> typical Kamala back at it again. Full yeah. disclosure, I have seen this video. I have not. So. I have, seen, have, I, have I seen it? Uh, you probably, you've seen clips of, of Oprah in the Kamala interview. Okay. This is... Um, I, I, I've watched this way too many times because I keep, I keep trying to find some sort of substance answer. So maybe Ian can help me see if there is one here. Uh, oh, excuse me. So without further ado, <laughs> and unfortunately for all of you, you got to hear Kamala Harris with us. Ian, hit that play button. Let's get this rolling. Back at it again. We got to talk about Kamala once again. Oh, it's good to hear Doc. Winfrey. Because yeah. Kamala went on a show with Oprah Winfrey. And uh, yeah, Oprah sold the soul, right? Uh, y'all remember the whole Maui situation where her and The Rock tried to garner donations from regular Americans like us <laughs> when they're. Oprah's a billionaire. The Rock is well on his way to becoming a billionaire, but they're asking us for donations. Like, it, make that make sense. Uh, y'all put up y'all money and get get your Democrat friends who claim to be lovey dovey, you know, loving America. Why don't y'all put y'all money together and donate it to the people of Maui, which we haven't forgotten, and um, hopefully the people of Maui vote accordingly. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. She went on the Oprah show, and I got three clips that I want to show y'all. Just three. I'm 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 not gonna go clip after clip after clip, but um. It is absolutely embarrassing to say that some of my fellow Americans will vote for this woman or are going to vote for this woman. It is absolutely embarrassing. But hey, I'm I'm kind of happy she did it because I think her poll numbers agree will with only on that one. get worse. Uh, the, the this first clip is her answer in response to uh, the question was descri- to describe America, and this is how she answered. Let's dive in. (laughs) We love our country. I love our country. I know we all do. That's why everybody's here right now. We love our country. We we take pride in the privilege of being American. And this is a moment where we can and must come together as Americans, understanding we have so much more in common than what separates us. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic people. We are an optimistic people. Americans, by character, are people who have dreams and ambitions and aspirations. We believe in what is possible. We believe in what can be. And we believe in fighting for that. That's how, that's how we came into being, because the people before us understood that one of the greatest expressions for the love of our country, one of the greatest expressions of patriotism 
is to fight for the ideals of who we are, which includes freedom to make decisions about your own body, freedom to be safe from gun violence, freedom to have access to the ballot box, freedom to be who you are and just be, to love who you love openly and with pride, freedom to just be. Hmm. And that's who we are. We believe in all that. And so this is a moment where we stand knowing what we are fighting for. We're not fighting against. It's what we're fighting for. Girl, why Oprah look confused? Because uh, the question was, if you, what, if you could say what's on your heart to the American people, what would you say right now? And that was the answer she gave. If you could say what's on your heart to explain to the American people, what would you say right now? And that's what she said. <clears throat> like, if you back it up a couple of couple spots. Oprah even looked at the camera. Like, like what? Is she really doing this right now? You know, don't get me wrong. If I'm sitting in Kamala, if I'm sitting in that seat across from Oprah, real talk, I'm probably going to choke on my words a little bit. If I'm sitting across from freaking Oprah. Well, okay. honestly, if you're sitting across from Oprah running for president, you're probably a seasoned politician that's been speaking that's, <clears throat> that's 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 true. Right, right now, if, if like right, like if it, it like if be, it's like if yes. it's Ian right now, I'm a choke on some words. It's just Ian right now. Yeah. Vito right now would be. Yeah. You as a seasoned politician speaking. You shouldn't be choking on your words. You've been you've been in pol in politics long enough because you've been a senator. You've been district attorney, district attorney, all that. You should off the top of your attorney head. Attorney general, I live too in California. Yeah, <laughs> off the top of your head, you should be able, even if it's some bullshit, off the top of your head, you should be able to spew something. She can't even spew something coherent. She, she, this woman's been around a courtroom. Yeah, you... Thank four. Thank you. Thank you. Not All right. If there was ever a, you know, a video description uh, of word salad, that would be right next to it. But let's move on along. Exactly. Because I this, agree with you, Doc, on that 100%. Quite long. Uh, I'm just warning you. Okay. This next um, <sighs> response Again, was I've seen this a, a lot. question oh, yeah. about I've seen a lot of these clips. the border. And this is how she responded. Is uh, um, the question... President, what would be your uh, specific your steps? Help. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> what would be specific steps to strengthening the border? Was it? So Sorry. He asked for specific steps on what you would do for the border. Okay. Specific steps. Oh, oh God. You know, don't do this to me right now. <laughs> Go ahead, hit the play button. Just, my this. head is already hurting. Don't do this. Okay. My head is already right, hurting. I'm playing it. So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know my background, oh God. was as a prosecutor, and I was also the elected attorney general for two terms of a border state. So this is not a theoretical um, issue for me. This is something I've actually worked on. Okay. I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. Okay. I take very seriously the importance of having a secure border and ensuring the safety of the American people. Uh, sadly, where we are now can be traced most recently back to the fact that <coughs> when the United States Congress, members of the Congress, including some of the most conservative Republicans, mm -hmm. came up with a border security bill. And here's what that border security bill would have done. It would have put 1,500 more border agents at the border. Let me tell you, those border agents are working around the clock. It would have just been about giving them some support and relief, which is probably why the border agents actually exist. <coughs> it would have allowed us to stem the flow of fentanyl. And I'm looking at people from all over the country here, so I don't need to tell the folks who are watching this what fentanyl has done to families, to, to kids in our country, and the need to take seriously stemming the flow coming into our country and addressing that How would you do it? extraordinary and, and tragic issue in terms of its effect. The bill would have allowed us to have more resources to prosecute transnational criminal organizations. Mm. 
and it would have been part of the solution. And Donald Trump called up those folks and said, don't put that bill on the floor for a vote. He blocked the bill, and you know why? Because he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. Mm -hmm. oh. Hit the pause button. And he has... People don't understand it's deeper than the bill. I mean, okay. That bill would have allowed 5,000 immigrants in a day. But if, 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 you, if, you look at, if you look at how drug trafficking works, it's bigger than, it's bigger than the bill thing. Oh, yeah. The border... This is why I don't think a lot of people realize cartels are not dumb. No. They're not fucking dumb. And one part, this is one reason why you won't have, like, you won't have, you can't, the, like, the black market won't end. Even if you watch shows, which I know it's a TV show, but it, they break it down. If you watch shows like Ozark, if you watch shows like The Blacklist, and if you watch, um, other shows that have to do with like cartel stuff and crime. The drugs don't just like come over breaking the point. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Yeah, the yeah, drugs yeah, yeah. don't breaking just bad. come over like it's not like someone's just walking. The Border Patrol agents know which cars or which people yeah. got weight on them. Yeah, they do. And then the reason why it's processed through Border patrol. Some of the border patrol agents, they're paid off. Exactly. So if you're if you're just your average day law enforcement officer, and you get threatened by the cartel, you're not gonna say no to that. If they threaten your family, you're not gonna say no to that. So you well, might get called on well, page. You won't say, you won't say no when you know you have no support above. Exactly. Because of the way that certain administrations are running the border right now. So if you know certain red tape is not going to do shit, what are you going to do? You're going to say, are you going to be all, and, it's, and I, I'm sorry to say it, are you going to be all patriotic or are you going to protect your own family? A lot of people are going to protect their You're gonna family. You're going to protect your family. Yeah. Your first thought is, I'm going to tell a cartel leader no. Because he's going to cut your head off. Right? You, you're going to tell a cartel leader no. Yeah, no, you're not. The average, no, you're not. Well, it'd be different if you actually had support above and you knew that you made one phone call to fucking Calvary. Was yeah, so like... But to, th these guys have no fucking support because of the way yeah, the administration is Because running. to a certain extent, all the trafficking, it essentially does make us money. Because you know, the, well, if the, the president could shut it down tomorrow. Biden could have the United States military on the border tomorrow. There's a certain faction of our money that comes from that shit. Oh, they're that's, just that's never going to get it on receipt. <laughs> but Trump shut it down. So, but but he shut Trump shut it down. All of it, a lot of it, slowed close to a crawl under him. Why was it possible under him, but under this administration, it's tenfold. Which, I see what you're saying. Like, to me, like... I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's... But there's a difference when you have protection from above and you true. know that you... When you don't. That's true. You're operating I, a lot I just really hope people, like... It's more than just a bill that can stop this whole shit. Oh, yeah. It's way more than that. Well, yeah. well Biden could do it with a swipe of his pen tomorrow. That's true. So it's technically... Is a simple bill that could be that's, done. I mean, technically, on one of those things, that's where you would probably want executive order. It could be... She could go down... She could be... <clears throat> this could be done tomorrow. I mean, you're saying it's not that simple when she's part of the executive branch, which could make it that simple, Ian. That's true. That's true. Too. You know what? But people don't realize how simple it could be. That's my point, though. They don't realize how simple it could actually be done. Over time, I have realized that... You have a lot of people, more than you realize, who are willing to sell out. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Democrats there's that are a making lot a lot of, of money who are right willing now. willing to sell out. That's why the border is wide open because it's, there's a lot of money being made on human. And it sucks to see it. Yeah. It really sucks to see it. There's some. What the hell? Is that the sun? Yes. Yeah, the sun. I thought that was a light. I was like, how'd that turn up in brightness? <laughs> 
My bad, y'all. It was like the Holy Ghost was coming through and shit. I was, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but it could, oh, man. They could stop it tomorrow. She was the border czar. She had power on the border. <coughs> yeah, all this Dude, time she had it. They could have the National Guard on the border tomorrow, making sure zero people come across. That means that she was in charge yes. for the border. And all these 40 years, she didn't do shit. A bill that allows any illegal immigration is terrible. That's why that bill didn't get signed. Allowing 5,000 people minimum a day, which all that does is divert those people to point of entry. It doesn't stop. So that bill did absolutely nothing for border security. And of course the border agents did because of, yeah, of course they wanted more money. What, what agency doesn't want more money? But they could reinforce the border tomorrow by putting the U.S. National Guard there. How many people in the National Guard? It depends on the state. Oh, um, sure. sure. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, sure. Good point. Please hit that space bar. Put his political, personal political <clears throat> security before border security. Because understand, even in the intervening months, what that bill would have done to give support to folks who care about this issue. And this, again, gets to the point about what does leadership really look like? And is it about you or is it about the people? Right. Is it about running on problems or fixing problems? My work and my career has always been about saying, let's fix problems. Let's so, address the needs, because we know it's within our capacity to do that. So to answer Justin's question, now that that bill has gone and hasn't passed, <laughs> will you reintroduce that? Absolutely. And when I am elected president of the United States, I will make sure that bill gets to my desk and I will sign it into law. Thank you, Justin. What specifics did she say? Oprah did have to say That wasn't even a save because that bill does absolutely nothing. It's a terrible bill. But yeah, she tried to save her. What what specifics did she say at all? In that in that answer. I mean, she answered the question for the average person who doesn't read into the details of it. Which even an average person was looking for a specific. Thing she would do on Bro, the I'm trying to give her yeah. benefit of that. I know you, you're trying to do I'm being Liz, be trying. <laughs> even, <laughs> be trying. Dude, even the our most incomprehensible person is looking for what would you specifically do on the border? Like, you're looking for step one, two, and three. F fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. He didn't ask for generalities. He fair. didn't say, I know it's tough. He said, what it? specific steps? Fair enough. That's a good point. Good point, man. True. <laughs> hit, hit, hit the play button, Liz. This woman wants to be Did president. You see what happened there? She rambled on for three whole minutes. I almost wanted to speed it up, but uh, I didn't want to make her look any better <sighs> because, you know, if I would have sped it up, it actually would have made her look a little bit better. Uh, Probably right. But no, she rambled on for so long that Oprah had to step in and say, hold on, wait, you didn't really answer his question. <laughs> it's within our capacity to do that. So to answer Justin's question, now that that bill has gone and... <laughs> so, so wait, to answer Justin's question... Yeah, you didn't even answer She rambled the on for three minutes and did not answer the question. And Oprah three minutes. saw it and had to like, hold on, wait a minute, like, this, this, is, this is getting a little too out of hand. All right, now, I want to show you this last clip, and this last clip was in response to the... Oh, and you oh. know why she had to do that? Oh, this Because it was okay. going to make opera look bad if she didn't, like, point that out, because that is obvious. That is so, like, simple to understand what he was trying to ask. Oprah had to give him one minimum, tiny, specific stupid oh. bill. Oh, yeah. You ain't about to make me look bad out of here. Uh -huh. Yo, I got a reputation, bitch. What are you doing? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's what she had to do. That she's like, what the fuck? You could tell, like, <laughs> her tone. You know. 
Oh. So to answer Justin's so question, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> and you, and you, you try to give it a benefit. I'm trying, bro. Madam Vice President, this we is worse. are like many, many young Americans just experiencing a very high cost of living. We ended up giving up our apartment, moving in with our parents who were so gracious to take us in for over a year so that we could save money and ultimately buy a home because that's what we thought the American dream was to, to yep. get yep. married and buy a home and have a baby. And now here we are and our mortgage is incredibly higher than what we thought it would be. And my sister and our brother-in-law are living with us right now so oh, that they can one day do the same. And mm -hmm. while it's beneficial for us because they help us wait a, pay off- Wait a minute, home girl. You live in, with your parents, your no, sister- No, no, she lived no. with her parents so she could save up money to buy the house. Now, since she has the house, her sister and her brother and her brother-in-law are living with them so they can save up and buy a house. Oh, okay, okay. I got the direction wrong. Because they can okay. barely afford their mortgage, so they had to move in to help them pay for their mortgage. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so I got the, I got the movement direction wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of our mortgage, it's also beneficial for them because they can save on cheaper rent. Okay. Okay. We really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah. I... First bro, all, thank bro, you. did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. You saw it? I saw it. She's like, yeah. Like, did you, like, you saw that, right? Yeah. I'm not bugging. Yeah, no. go ahead. Go I'm, back. Go back right, to it. Go she back got to a it. little scared. Yeah. yeah, she did. She got a little scared. Yep. She's like, and, it's, and I'm not trying to insult her. Save on cheaper rent. But you can see it in the face. That, that's why I said this is worse. Is she, you can see it in her face. I'm glad you caught it. She didn't. It right there. Yeah. She didn't know how to answer it. She has no idea what to say. She's like, She's like, shit, what am I going to say? That's the look of a woman that's, oh, fuck, what am I going to answer? How am I going to answer she the question? And then wait till wait you hear the answer. That's a good, wait till I'm you hear I'm the answer. I'm going to run it back one more time. Wait till you hear the I'm answer. I'm going to back. Mortgage, it's also beneficial. She didn't know what she was going to say. Wait till you hear the rent, answer. But we really would love to know what your plan Damn. is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah. Right I, there. First of all, thank you both for being here. And yours is a a story I hear around she the country as I travel. And um, in terms of both rightly having the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family and working hard and finding that the American dream is for this generation and so many recently, far more elusive than it's been. And we need to deal with that. And there are a number of ways. One is bringing down the cost of everyday necessities, including groceries. So that's why I'm taking on, for example, price gouging, um, which is when you know most companies and corporations are good, but for those bad ones, they take advantage of people, especially during a pandemic or extreme weather. And they end up jacking up prices, and there needs to be accountability and consequence for that. So I'm going to be taking on price gouging. But it's also about dealing with what we need to do around home ownership, right? So as someone mentioned during this, this film, uh, look, I grew up a child of, of oh. a mother who worked very hard. She raised me and my sister. And she saved up. And by the time I was a teenager, she was able to buy a home. And um, we grew up actually for a long time in an apartment on top of a child care center that Look was his face. owned by the woman we called our second mother because she helped my Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Did she answer, answer any of those questions? Pause the fucking video. No. If she wins, The gouging, the... Did I say gouging? If she wins. <laughs> Um, how can I say this? If she wins the election, she is going to need some very good people around her. Like, really good. Either way, no matter who the hell around her, that's still making the final decision. That's true. Now, if the question was, uh, if there was to ask you the question, let's say if you're running for president, right? What would be your answer? A specific way that I'm going to help lower the cost of living? I would probably, A,
uh, cut the corporate tax rate so that way the corporations can hire more people so more people can have more money to be able to put more money back into the economy? Got more of an answer than me. I don't play with money like that. That's just I'm, I'm, my profession is up here. <laughs> and I bet, I'm mental health. But That's I, why. But you would still give a more coherent answer than Kamala Harris. I gave a more coherent answer than Kamala Harris. My question. You went right straight to it. She's putting she's putting her life story in there, like but, prolonging yeah, you, the. You know, you, you the get ends. it. How you grew up, you get it. You know. Yeah, she's just, just, just say what you're gonna do for the future. Tell us what you're going to do for us. Yeah. We don't give a shit about your background. How you, no. We've heard it a million times. They do documentaries, so when that time comes, then you could talk about your whole life. When you're done with your presidency, if you've it. got for God for will and win, write a goddamn book. Yeah. Didn't Obama write like five books? Yes, he has. Uh, but the, uh, these are specific answers these people are looking for. Did you see the look on the guy's face? The guy yeah, was not exactly. happy. <laughs> the guy was not happy. Video is. <laughs> no. It was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo rambling. Oh, yeah. You know, I knew somebody that knew somebody that had a small business. And, you know, I love small businesses, but she's never owned a small business. So how can you love a small business if you've never owned a small business? You've been a government employee basically your entire life. Um, huh? And then, you know, in this interview, she also had went on to say something about, you know, we're not going to take people's guns. I'm a gun owner myself. If somebody broke into my house, I'd shoot him. I saw that part. You are the vice president currently. Nobody's breaking into your house. And if they did, they'd be shot by Secret Service, not by you. He got a boy. <laughs> this stuff is just laughable. Like, it, 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 like you, you can't even you you can't even make it up. Like this this is. This is lunatics. This is craziness. She can't even answer a simple question without rambling on for four whole min three whole minutes and Oprah has to step in and say, hold on, wait, you didn't answer the question. So to answer this question, like, what? And I don't know if y'all caught it. Can't say better myself, dog. Oprah at one point in time, like, sat back like, oh, my goodness. You know, it, it, it kind of looked like Oprah realized, like, oh. What this seems to me is that she's trying to avoid questions, so she's prolonging everything, every answer, right? She rambles long enough so people can forget what they actually ask. Ask her, yeah. Yeah, that too. Because for a moment which I did. Which strategic wise is smart. <laughs> for a moment I did. I'm like, wait, but what was you running for president of the United States? But you could tell that she's not like she doesn't want to. She don't want to answer any questions she's because afraid. she keeps. Yeah, you call, you, I'm glad you caught that. Yeah. With you that could, face, you when could she see made on that her face, face. She was. She didn't know how she's she was like, gonna. Oh shit! How am I gonna do this? She didn't know how she was gonna answer it. You know, you gotta be prepared for the yeah. questions, and she is not. She's not good off the cuff at all. So. This is what people were talking about. You aren't as bright as what I thought. Because as evil as Oprah is, and I personally feel like she is evil. That's just my personal feeling. She is smart. Say uh, Oprah is very smart. Oprah. Oh, yeah, Oprah, smart. Oh, yeah, Oprah, Oprah is smart. Smart. Okay? She didn't, and I think she realized this is looking kind of bad. Oprah didn't get this far mm -hmm. being jobs. No. You know? <laughs> but obviously she, she had to refrain herself from doing too, too much, but... There was one point in time where she kind of leaned back in her chair and kind of, you know, did one of these numbers. It's like, whew, man, that is rough. But I also want to show you guys the comment section of oh, yeah. this video. This and look, just for full disclosure purposes, here it is, okay? This is the comment section, or this I, is that video. I know you right? like this part, Ian. Uh, here is <laughs> where that guy was asking her about the border. The bill would have allowed us to have more resources. Showing that it's that, okay. it's that channel. So you see on that. Kamala Harris's right. channel. Boom, bada, bang. Now, what I want to show y'all is the comment section. Okay? Uh, this has 1.465 million views. 1.4 million views. 
Kamala always talks like she's baked at 4 a.m. <laughs> How many times is she going to tell the same story? <laughs> so we're all just over Oprah asking us to donate to Hawaii while her property stayed in pristine condition. The comments on here is hilarious. Almost funnier than Kamala blaming Trump for the border bill. <laughs> How are you going to lower the cost of living? L living proceeds to say proceeds not to say anything <laughs> what is the opportunity economy looking at this cop looking at these comments gives me hope yes it, it gives me hope hope as well because uh y'all were going after kamala in this comment section my goodness i'm happy to see all these wealthy celebrities and comedians supporting harris while i can't afford groceries for my kids uh <laughs> ignorance is bliss uh to the no common sense people <laughs> <laughs> did Kamala seem a little tipsy how will you fix the border Kamala I was a prosecutor how will you fix the economy Kamala I was, was a middle, middle class, class girl, girl. <laughs> yeah. I love how yeah. Kamala can talk to Oprah but not to the American public uh, while Kamala here talking to the Hollywood elite Vivek is holding <laughs> a, a town hall meeting in Springfield talking to the people uh, which he was I, I almost made a video on that um, how can one person speak so much but say so little? Uh, never get yep. to the point. I'm yep. in Texas. Really need the border protected. All of us. Serious question for Kamala supporters. Can you really see her talking with foreign leaders like Putin and Kim Jong Un? Good, so good, 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 good question. And I can I, listen. I can keep. I can keep old scrolling. I watch this with a very open mind, but I feel so pandered. LOL. This is like watching an interview uh, in the Capitol from the Hunger Games. Why should I care what celebrities think? Do not vote on feelings, but facts. This interview explains that Harris has no plans at all. Like, I, I, I can literally just keep going. I mean, just, this, this is ridiculous. Uh, would, would, would like to see her answer some probing questions. Uh, Godspeed, America. I'm rooting for you to get this done. Lots of love from Germany. Here, the first good, okay comment. I mean, maybe, depending on how you look at it. Um... Depending on how you look at it, this is the first good comment. I'm amazed that the comments are open on this train wreck. Like, I mean, you could just, just all the way through here. I mean, Jeez. yeah, she's not going to make it to the White House. <laughs> I mean, you could just keep scrolling, bro. <laughs> oh, Oprah man. is way better uh, than Kamala at campaigning. <laughs> uh, let's Jeez. see, let's see. Uh, Marxist price gouging. You know, I... So, hey, listen, shout out to the American people. I don't believe the American people at large are buying this crap. And there was evidence right there where I just went to the video. Y'all saw me go to the video and I just scrolled through the comment section. I mean, and, and it goes on for days. I mean, they are just going after her. We can bring up the video and see what the comments are now. I can't, I can't believe these smart people are actually supporting her. <laughs> I mean, this is just hilarious. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, man. But as always, y'all let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this in the comment section below. Thankfully, like I said, I don't believe the American people are buying this crap. Uh, I think these polls are a bunch of BS, but we still have to show up and do our part. Do not relax. Do not get complacent. Always, um, always keep in mind that, hey, even in a deep red state, we're behind by one or two points, right? It's winnable. It's most definitely winnable. But uh, even in red states, because let me tell you, they are going to try to pull out all the stops. And if they see a vulnerability, they will exploit it, okay? Uh, make no mistake about that. I mean, that that's, that's just common sense in my humble opinion. Um, so even if you live in a deep red state, right? A Florida, right? A Tennessee, um, you know, like these states that you don't think are going to go blue at all, make sure you still show up and take somebody with you. All right. Tell a friend, Everybody tell get a out friend. Who you going for? Get out all right. Vote. I'm serious. I know that sound. I know that might sound corny, but I'm telling you, if we don't, we will lose. Yes. We will lose. And come November, I'm going to be sitting here saying, I told you. I told you. And I'm going to reference moments like this where I'm like, I told y'all that red state where we had a comfortable lead on Kamala and she ended up winning it. It was because we got comfortable. That state that could have gone either way and Trump lost by four points. We got comfortable. I told you, you know, and I don't want to have to have that moment. 
I really don't. I don't think that I will. But let's make sure that I never have to. Hopefully All right. not, Doc. Stay safe out there. I don't want to see you on that moment. Because I don't want to have that moment either. You want to play? Let's play. Excuse me. Well, well. So, uh, now that you've seen the clips from the uh, that like old interview. Yeah, that's cause of concern. Answer questions. We're 47 days away from this woman possibly becoming president of the United States, and she has given zero information on what she's going to do to help us. Whether you like Trump or hate him, at least he's got a plan. Agenda 47, not prior to 2025. He has nothing to do with prior to 2025. How many times does he have to say I have nothing to do with something? Huh. This is the shortest political video we ever made. Yeah. It's under 40 minutes. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Look at us, <laughs> look at us still, breaking records. I'm still curious. What, what, what is one reason that you would be voting for Kamala Harris? I'm not saying you are. I'm saying give us one, one reason to vote for Kamala Harris. It's... It's concerning that she can't answer the thing. She just rambles to the question, like, well, to the answer of the question, and does not give, like, especially when someone says what specific steps, she can't even give a one, two, and three. She just goes back to, I was brought up when I was a kid. I come from, <coughs> and we all come from something. Yeah. But, but the, the thing is that, there's other people that probably wanted to ask questions and they didn't get the chance to because of how long the she, answer she was giving. She was rambling on to nothing. So, it was unfair. Which again, was on purpose so she didn't have to answer more well, questions. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. But guys, another day of opus and on it. Open and Honest That's a quick question. question. Could you on. confidently say you would not, you will not vote for Kamala Harris, or are you still considering? That really, if you're considering, I will you, say I this, a reason why. I will say this makes me not want to vote for. Her. This does make me not want to vote for. Her. I'll say that. What, what would make you want to vote for? Her? I just, I, I, I want to know. Here. I just want to. I would like to see a one. A, I need a step one, two, and three. So what does Trump have to do for you to be like, eh, I can do it? That's a good question, yeah. I told you my shit with Trump is petty. Because I I, I could talk about Trump, but my shit with him is petty. Well, if you're, you're going to not vote for somebody on a petty reason... Well, like... Because you're not, you're not meeting with him every day. I know, I know I'm not meeting with him. But like, I'm, I'm curious. Why? Why would you let that? Because that's the guy that's your your choice is. I will say this: at least Trump does have, like, he's put out all of his policies. Okay, he tells you what he at least like planning to do. He doesn't look scared when he's answering a question. Um. His shit does seem more orchestrated. Like, right now, Trump's running a better campaign, like comment, like and plan wise. The only reason why it seems like Kamala's campaign is doing better is because all the money that everybody donated to her. But nine times, how much? When Hillary was running against Trump, did she raise more? Or did Trump oh, raise more? She doubled him. Okay. She like way outraised okay. out, out him. Okay. That's what made Trump's win even more amazing because he only had like half a billion dollars of some shit. Because I I feel like this. Well, I feel like the same thing's about to happen. When Hillary was running against Trump, the whole race it had Hillary winning, and then election day Trump won. But this race doesn't even have her winning the entire time. They've been going back and forth. Hillary was up by like eight points at most polls. Hillary was killing him in the polls. And she was.
she's neck and neck and barely beating him in most polls. So what does that say? I feel like they're going to have to do a recount. Because the shit's so close. It's going to be like with Gore and Bush. Because Gore only lost by 600 votes. I don't even think it should be that close. Because would you rather have word salad sitting in front of Chi or Trump? Which, which character, okay, right which now, character would you want in front of Trump? Right now, I will put Trump in front of Chi. Because at least Trump can answer. Oprah had to finish the question for her. Yeah. That's what you're getting. So Oprah had to finish the question for her. But Ian, that's Kamala in interview after interview after yeah, interview. Yeah, I know. It's not looking good. You know what you're getting with Trump. It's not looking good. So, so again, would, would that petty reason keep you from voting for her when that's the character that you need in front of these world leaders? Yeah, because you can't be a bitch in front of she and uh, Hillary. And Linda Hillary. Especially if you can't be a woman and not finish the question. Th- those countries already don't like women in charge. She's weak. Could you imagine her trying to negotiate a deal with China? If it was Tulsi, she would have. Oh man, Tulsi, different story. She she would have. Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard would have been a different story. Oh yeah, dude, her sitting down trying to negotiate with Putin. And the Democrats had an opportunity to have mm-hmm. Tulsi. Oh, they fucked that up. They, they had the. Op- they should have let her go. And guess who's on? Guess who's going to be in Trump's cabinet? Mm-hmm. So that's another person who's going to be. You're talking about the people that's going to be around her. Look who's Trump surrounding himself with right now. You're talking about RFK Jr. and Tulsi Gabbard who are going to be in Trump's cabinet. At bare minimum, senior advisors. Yeah, this shit ain't looking good, bro. Two people who you said you would have voted for are on Trump's side. Yeah, that's crazy. So again, I keep going back to, would you really keep a character issue voting for some, from voting for him I mean, I'm going to have to consider it more now since she can't even fucking answer mm-hmm. a question. That sucks, though. That's sad when a, like, you can't answer the question. Dang. And what the fucking host of the, t- of the, of the program got to finish the question <laughs> for you. That's just me. I'm curious as the, the I think the last Doc Ridge video, y'all 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 was watching that one. Yeah. So I appreciate that, man. We appreciate that. Appreciate Doc Ridge for putting these together. Too. Yo, honestly though. Yeah, he's awesome. I know we grow at a slower rate, but at least we still grow organically. Yes we do. Yeah. Yes, we so do. I'll take that. Yep, hundred percent. Always will. I will definitely take because I think we're at like thirty four point five K right almost, now. Almost almost thirty five thousand. And I'm like, you know, we might grow slower. We might still be, you know, uh, on under the sheets channel. But at least we like. But back in the day when you were starting, you didn't think you were gonna be. No, nah, I didn't expect this to be like this. Exactly. Like, like, exactly. No, nah, we was grinding, yep. man. The way we used to have a set, like this is. To me, it ha- what we have now is professional compared to what we used to. Have. Oh, 100%. <laughs> like yeah. damn, it's amazing what we. But, uh... Wait till we have to swing out mics for everybody. Oh, yeah. The, oh, I want to be able to swing out mics like on the Joe Budden podcast. Yep. That's what I should I want. <laughs> Where I, can, I want to be, and when I get mad, to be able to... No! <laughs> and, and throw the swing out mic. <clears throat> well, Ian, if uh, Trump becomes president and lowers the taxes, puts more money in our pocket, we might uh-huh. actually be able to afford that stuff. Yep. Kamala, who wants to increase the corporate rate so less people would be working, we, we won't be able to... Uh, that stuff. You go November 8th, right? Fifth. Fifth, sorry. You, you wait till the 8th, you're in trouble, my friend. November. Has it always been November 5th? This week, this year it is. Oh, it's like the Election first Tuesday. First, 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 first Tuesday, Tuesday, November. First Tuesday. Oh, that's like the uh, third Thursday of November is yeah. Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. But so, damn. So, yes. Yeah. Always remember the 5th of November. Okay. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, blow us up. Y'all know what to do.
Thanks for stopping in and blow us up. Jesus. Christ, I messed that up! Oh, boy. <laughs> blow us Whoa. Jesus. Thanks for stopping in and spending some time there with There we us. go. I'm like, where are you going, Vito? You can blow this video up and help <laughs> us out, definitely. God I'm damn. like, wow, playing off what Ian said. Mm-hmm. Thanks for stopping in and spending time with us. Hit the notification bell, give it a share, because it does. Help the channel out. Please and thank you all. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh,